What up, Borum Dancing Masters and Masterettes? Hi, it's Vaughn here, the founder of Borum Mastery, coming in for another dance rant. How are you? Are you doing well? Let me know. What are you practicing at the moment? Or can't you be bothered? Well, stay tuned today because I want to talk to you about what to do when you can't be beeped to practice, turn up to a group class, to train. Come on, you'd be lying if you didn't feel that way. Like... I like to think I'm a pretty enthusiastic guy, but I would be lying if I said I felt like dancing and training every day. Absolutely not. So look, can you relate to that? Do you have times you sort of struggle going, oh, Netflix, you look so tempting. And and you go home and you sit on, touch the couch. Like you don't even have to to have a bath and relax and have a wine. You just just put your hand on the couch. You put your little hand there and then you go, oh no. And it's like a little vortex, right? Sucks you in and all of a sudden you just don't, get up again and anything is harder, right? At that moment, you just, you've done with the day, your body's spent and you go, nah. And the thought of even moving your leg once to walk towards the door is enough, right? It's let alone doing a lesson. If that's you and you've ever felt that, stay with me because I'm going to explain what's going on and how to defeat that and why it's important. First of all, have you felt that before, right? Like give me a like or share or one of those like funny laughing faces if that's ever been you. Because as a professional dancer, and this being a massive part of my life, like 17 years, most of the time going to class and all that jazz was the hardest thing, right? Like how many people join a gym and then they quit a month or two later, but you know, they keep their membership going with the the, the hope that one day they will use it to the full extent, right? That's another thing. Well, the reason is the same there as it is for you with dancing. And let me get to the point. Your brain isn't your brain. What does this mean? You have an ancient brain inherited from ancestry. Genealogically, you are programmed already with habits, traits, and behaviors that you've inherited from many, many past generations. And I mean, thousands and thousands of years of ancestral thinking has gone up into your noggin. You have so much conditioning in there of trying to take it easy, to keep the peace, to be in the comfort zone, to play it safe, to push Your body to physical exertion and limits is not how your brain is actually wired. It is wired, you know, basically the feast and famine. It's to keep your body healthy, to keep you uh, striving uh, less and conserving more, right? Like that's sort of how the body is programmed. So it's so natural and easy to not do anything. That, That is actually how we're wired fundamentally. So for us as dancers to go out there and to to be training every day, it's actually unnatural. Uh, to actually do anything every day that exerts energy is really unnatural. So we've got so much already going against us upstairs. But think about it like this. Once, and welcome to everybody. It's awesome to have you here. So give me a like or share. I want to contribute with you. You know, ask me some questions as we go along. But think about it like this. Why do you feel amazing after you do a run or after you do some exercise? And, you know, I'm not a neuroscientist. I, you know, I don't understand the brain to the depths of those guys. But I've done my research, I've talked to a lot of people in this field, and I've read my books on this one. Uh, And one thing I do understand is the dopamine uh, receptors. What happens, of course, when you exert energy and you go out and you do your little bit of work, is you get rewarded, right? The dopamine receptors fire off and you get a nice, good feeling, right? And the more exercise you do, and a classic example is running versus walking, if you do a good run, you've oxygenated your body, blood's gone through your body, your brain has more oxygen, and of course you've released a feel-good hormone called dopamine. Well, that's exactly why you've probably felt this one, where you've gone to a dance class and you have not wanted to do it, because again, the ancient brain is in there going, don't do it, you know, conserve your energy, you're tired, and then you get that little narrative saying, hey, you know, chill on the couch, you've worked hard today, you don't need to go and do more, you've already done enough, right? But then you go and do it anyway, you ignore that, because your feelings are lying to you, And then you come out of the dance class and how good do you feel? It's like, oh my God, that was amazing. You're like jazzed as. Right now it's almost 10 p.m. I'm like this every night. It takes me like an hour or two to wind down at home because the feel-good hormones have come and rushed through me from dancing. But most of the time I come to the studio, I feel like I'm dragging my sorry carcass in here, right? Can Can you relate to that at all? I was just talking to a student of mine and he said the same thing. And so here's what you do about that. This is, this is one of the ways to sort of overcome that real inability to, especially when you don't feel like it, but you know you should do it. What do you do? Well, there's a little tactic I'll share with you a student shared with me because he was saying, today I hated 
my life. I hated coming to dance. I hated the world. I, the boss, I hated him. Like, but I came here. I did my lesson with you. And now I love everything. I, I feel so good. I was like, yep, there's a reason. And we were talking a bit more. And here's the thing that you can do. When you feel like that, take out your camera, record yourself either with a video or just on uh, the microphone and say how you feel. Specifically, let's say, man, I feel so good. I'm so proud of myself. I came today. Thank you, me, for coming. And next time I feel like I don't want to come, remember how good you feel at the end of this. You know, like a self-motivation or an affirmation to encourage yourself to come. And then the next time you feel that way, listen to it. It's a small hack that I think can really help you. I mean, what do you think? Let me know. Have you ever done anything like that before? And do you think it would help you? Uh, But essentially, that's the sort of tool to help inspire yourself to get into the studio. Just always remember how good you feel When you make a commitment to yourself, you stick to the commitment and then your brain and your body is rewarded at the end of it, you see? So now, just remember this, your feelings are lying to you. Your body is not wanting to do that extra work, but then when you do, you get rewarded. So that's the beauty of it, right? That's a bit of the paradox. So go for it this week. Go for it like you've never gone for it before because you know Here's, the, here's one more thing, just before I finish up, real quick. Uh, energy begets energy, right? So your entire body, your entire makeup is nothing but energy. Every cell in your body is vibrating constantly. It's like a million chemical reactions happening every second in your body. You know, if that doesn't make you grateful, I don't know what will. Because what controls that, right? Well, it's your unconscious mind. But anyway, that's for another time. Point being is you are nothing but energy, So when you say, I don't have any energy, well, if you think that, that's exactly what you will become. But if you go out there and you say to yourself, I have more energy than I know what to do with, and then you engage in physical exertion, your energy levels will spike, right? It's the real paradox. It's like if you're depressed and you're sitting on the couch, you'll get more and more depressed. And so what somebody in that state has to do and what anyone has to do if they want more energy is they have to snap out of that state by doing something almost radical, where you can go either for a run, in our case, we go for a jive, we go for a samba, go for a quick step, and that gets rewarded. And then we get more energy. Now, it's true you can overdo that and exert yourself to the point you get chronic fatigue or you wear out from overtraining. But naturally, although your brain is wired to sort of conserve, it's also, um, it's also has that mechanism to reward you so you do keep fit and healthy and keep your vehicle in good running order. So what my suggestion is to find that sort of balance for you, what's good for you is different for me. So I want you to find your level to get to 10. So let's say your highest level of energy is a 10. That is when you're crushing it, right? Like everything's going your way. You dance for a couple of hours. You have a day at work where just everything works, right? You you had a moment like that. Uh, You know, we all have. Well, let's say that you're 10. You wake up in the bed, out of bed in the morning at like a two, right? And your two's like dragging your carcass in the kitchen. Maybe you get your green tea or coffee or an orange juice and you're like, oh, thank you very much. Your brain rewards you with a bit of norepinephrine anyway and, and, and the adrenal glands fire off and boom, the coffee wakes you up. Yeah, good morning. You start to kick up to a three or four. Maybe you get to work, you stay at about a five, right? You do some exercise, you get up to six, seven or eight or nine. You've got to find ways to get yourself up to a nine or 10 every day. Dancing is one of those ways, one for sure, because it's way better than running. I think it's way better than riding, than playing golf, because it activates every part of your body. It gets your brain going, gets your blood going. It gets your emotional mind, your spiritual soul, your physical body, everything in alignment, right? Like it hits every part of the brain. Like it's like fireworks going off in your brain when music's playing, when you're dancing. Like every part of you is, is activated. Except your taste buds. Don't, don't taste your partner. Don't taste the floor, right? But every part of you is activated. So it's super rewarding, right? That's why I think dancing at any level, at any age, is one of the best things you can do, despite the fact it helps with preventing and treating Parkinson's and Alzheimer's and dementia. Like, it's just amazing to do this overall. So if you lack energy, if you have a down day, the worst thing you can do is not turn up to your class, not turn up to your lesson, and not train. I don't care if you feel absolutely miserable, except for if you've got an f- actual flu or you're fighting something off, you get in the studio, go to work, right? Like do, and, and here's what you do. I'm going to give you another tip I just thought about then. This is probably the best hack I can give you because I, I, you know, I think I'm a pretty enthusiastic guy, 
but I'm also inherently not wanting to always work, but I love the work I do. That's another paradox I find with myself. So what I do is I go, look, I've got a lot of projects going on. I've got, I've got a couple of businesses I run. I've got two companies. And there's a lot in the background that I'm always working on. And so I, what I do to myself, because if I think about the volume of work I have to do, it's overwhelming. So if you have to think about how much training you have to do to get better or how much you have to do, it's stressful, right? So then you protect yourself by not wanting to do the work. It's way too stressful to think, holy shit, the amount of choreography I have to do, the amount of practice I have to do to get to that next level. It's just way too much. I can't do it. Don't have the time. Then your limiting belief systems kick in and fuel that narrative and you don't do the work. So do what I do. I do this every time, like almost every day. I'm like, if I need to go to work, uh, I don't think about the projects. I think about, I'm gonna just check one email. You know, I'll just open up my browser and sit as a lump or a husk of a human at my computer. And I'll just click on my email, I'll just check one. Then I'll just go, I'll just go check my Facebook, or my social media stats, or my YouTube channel, where's that at? And I'll just check little things and all of a sudden, I start to get a reward for that, right? And because of that reward system kicking in, hmm, okay, what happens? I start to do more work. Now in dancing, it's the same thing. And the gym, it's the same thing, try this. Don't think about, oh man, I have to pack my bag. I've got to make sure my kids are off at school. I've got to make sure I've got the food cooked. I've got to... No, it's too overwhelming. You won't train. You just think, don't even think about going to, the, to dance and do any routines. Just lie to yourself. Just say, I'm not even going to dance tonight. I'm just going to turn up at the studio and just watch people dance. And just All you've got to do is get in the studio. That's, that is the 90% of the effort, right? Then to get on the floor, you say to yourself, oh man, I can't be bothered to dance. Just one of those days. I'm going to just put my shoes on. Oh, don't even put shoes on. But stand on the floor and just stand in front of the mirror and just start moving your body a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Your body, your brain will start rewarding the movement, right? Remember that dopamine system, yeah? And so then you start feeling good. And then you say, you know what? I'm going to just do one step. I'm going to just do one little step. That's all, just a little step. Totally lying to yourself because you know you're probably going to train. And then all of a sudden you start to feel good in the movement. And what happens? You probably spin out of control because I do, right? With Alison, it was our laughing and standing joke because I'd be like, I would always just say to us, look, we're not even gonna train hard today. We're both spent. So I'd get her on the floor, I'd hold her and I'd be like, okay, we're just gonna do a little basic movement. And as soon as I take like two steps, I'm like, oh, I remember how good this feels. And then boom, like I'm like busting it out. Just like, Vaughn, calm down. like. We said we we're only going to do like basics. I'm like, yeah, but you know, like how good does it feel? And I was lying. Like now we're ready to trade. So look, I hope this helps you. I hope it serves you. Hope you can feel my energy coming to you now. Um, and all I want for you is to be able to have more energy in your life and to have more vivaciousness and more vitality. I think it's awesome. And I think dancing can be that thing for you. So thanks for tuning in with me today. Leave me a boom if you are interested in more of the upcoming things we have. We have a super special course coming out. In June, I want to take a handful of people to work with virtually uh, online in my membership thing. So leave me a boom below if that's interesting to you. Make sure you like and share it and see us on the YouTubes. Tomorrow, we've got a great video coming out. So uh, check it out, head over there. And loved having you here. Thanks for today. And I'll see you on the next video.